Hi, welcome to Hands on AWS. My name is Raghuveer Varahagiri, and today we'll talk about a new feature recently announced by AWS in the AWS Organization Service, which is closing a child account in an AWS organization from either the console or through the API. This feature, especially the ability to close a child account programmatically, has been a very long requested feature by the community. And now that it has been announced, let's look at how to use it. This is Hands on AWS and welcome to this video. We will briefly talk about the feature and then we'll go on to a demo on the console followed by a demo on the AWS CLI and we'll briefly talk about the limitations. Like I mentioned, this feature to delete organizations from an AWS organization has been requested by the community for a long time. That's because for many big enterprises that deal with dozens if not hundreds of child accounts across a structure of multiple nested OUs, it's always has been a pain to delete accounts that have reached the end of their life cycle and to gracefully close them. The fact that we can now do that programmatically lends itself to automation and we can put a lot of hooks into your existing account management lifecycle process to automatically close those accounts once they are used and any data has been backed up. This ensures that a full end-to-end -end life cycle of accounts can be automated without any dependency on manual actions. So here we are in the management SSO console of our AWS organizations account. Currently have four different accounts accessible through SSO. Let's go to the management account and look at the AWS organizations. All right. Let's go to AWS organizations. Look at the structure. There are a bunch of OUs and child accounts. So let us see how we can close an account. Let's say I want to close the audit account. There are a couple of ways you can close an account. One is through the management console and the other is through the CLI or SDK. Let's look at the first option here. So uh, if you want to close an account, um, for some reason they have not provided that option from the main console of the organization's page. So you will not see an option under the AWS account to close that account. You can move it, you can remove it from the organization or export a list of accounts under that OU, but you will not be able to close it from here. What you can do, is go to the details page of a particular AWS child account and then you will have to click on close. So make sure you're clicking right button. No, removing an account from an organization does not close that account. So any resources that you have spun up in that account will continue to be active and they will continue to incur charges and generate a bill for you. So make sure you click on close. Now is the time to go through the fine print and make sure that you understand the implications of closing an account. So you can click on learn more to look at detailed documentation on what it entails. But <clears throat> the main um, thing to note is that for a period of 90 days, the account will be in a suspended state and you will only be able to log into that account with a root user ID and be able to access the billing feature. And you will have an option to uh, revive that account within that 90, period, 90 days period. But beyond that, you will not be able to uh, recover this account and it will be permanently deleted. So that's something that you need to acknowledge. 
you can't reopen this will only uh, be reopenable for next 90 days and anything after that period is permanently deleted so you will have to type in the account id to confirm one simple way to do that is to drag and drop and here you go make sure your, all your checkboxes are checked you are ready to close the account you have successfully requested to close the account this number so you will see a message that this account is pending closure and it will be closed soon and now the close button is no longer there because we already requested that so let's look at the previous console view once again so here you can see that the account now appears as suspended and that tells you that this is pending closure so using the console that is how you can delete an account like i said the other way to delete an account or close an account in a religious organization is through the sdk or using the cli we'll take a pause here now let's switch to the cli and see how we can do the same thing from the cli first let us list the accounts that are in this management account so as you can see there are four entries in the list of accounts and one of them that we just clicked on close from the management console is currently in the suspended status so that is as expected now instead of list accounts we can issue the close account command takes just a single parameter account id and the value needs to be from the account that we want to close let's say we want to now close the audit account so let's go to here and copy this paste it here okay let's see what happens now before we show you this command we should know that there are some service quota limits applied on this new functionality so let's issue this command and watch what happens all right got a chance so this close account okay i believe the reason for this is that the religious cli installation i have has not been updated to include the new close account method so let's see all right we have aws cli version 2.4.18 i think this feature has been introduced more recently so i may have to upgrade my aws cli version let's do that so this is the official git repo for the aws cli v2 so we can download the installer so here we go let me upgrade this It's done. Let's go back and see if we have an updated version. Just you. So this new feature of close account under AWS organizations was announced four days ago. Um, so we now should have the close account option here. Yep. Now at least the command is valid. Now the error that we get here, constant violation ex exception is received 
because we have exceeded the close account quota for the past 30 days. So like I mentioned a little bit while ago, there are some service quotas implemented by default and for this particular operation of close account, the service quota I understand is limited to one account closure per 30 day period uh, or 10% of the total number of accounts in your organization. If it is sufficiently big, you will be able to delete up to 10% of your accounts in any given month. Uh, because I'm dealing with a very small organization with only four accounts, that limit is set as one. You can go to the AWS console and look at this AWS service quotas section and here you'll be able to search for the currently applied quota limits. So this is, these are the list of quotas and limits applied on the AWS organization service and if you search for close you can see that there is a limit of one that is applied to the number of accounts you can close within a 30 day period and this is not a adjustable limit so currently that's the limit that is applied and you will not even be able to request a quota increase so that's it folks that's how you delete a member account from AWS organizations from the AWS console or using the CLI. I hope this was useful. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye.